Now, forewarn weather with exclusive cutting edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. You don't need the jersey so much today as the poncho. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if they have a sale on the ponchos, but that would be something that would come in handy. Yeah. But hopefully uh, we can just get this rain out of here, Ashley, because then at the end of the month for the draft, we need sunny skies. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I, I see. I see what you're trying to channel here. Yeah. <laughs> can I jump ahead to my golf trip in June? Can you yeah. make sure? <laughs> Let's get all the rain out of the way now. Let's get, yeah. let's get it all scheduled. I can tell you 100% chance of not needing a poncho in Ford Field, though. When there you go. You're in there. We've got a roof. Right. We've got a roof. <laughs> so, yeah, I know a lot of folks are like, ah, oh, look at this rain. But, you know, it's April and this is what happens in order to get all those May flowers to pop up. So we do have widespread rain right now. We had it all morning long and it will continue throughout the afternoon and evening, really kind of intensifying before it lets up tonight. And then another round for a good chunk of the daylight hours tomorrow. We'll pair that with some gusty winds on your Friday too, maybe even upward of 40, 45 miles per hour. And then another round of rain on tap for Sunday. So here's a look regionally at what we have going on here. Some lightning strikes that have picked up on the eastern edge of Ohio going towards Pittsburgh. We even have a few severe thunderstorm warnings and it uh, looks like maybe even a possible tornado warning that has popped down into Florida. So the severe threat down to the south and directly to our southeast across the Great Lakes region. We're not under a severe threat today. You can see that here, that that marginal risk is just well south of the state line, but the bullseye will be west of Pittsburgh for southeastern Ohio. Let's zoom in closer to talk more about what our temperatures are, because if you were with us this morning, we haven't seen a huge climb, maybe just a couple degrees or so. 54 at City Airport, 52 at Metro and 51 in Ann Arbor, and that's going to be this very slow snail-like pace with the temperatures this afternoon as we only get into the upper 50s, and so we'll be a little more seasonal or just a couple degrees above it, but a lot cooler than where we've been. If you recall, two days ago, we were in the 70s, yesterday the 60s, and this is about a 10 degree swing downward at the lunch hour compared to where we were at this time yesterday. So widespread rain still in the forecast will be in the mid to upper 50s over the next several hours, paired with an east northeasterly breeze that could include gusts around 20 miles per hour, but that won't be the worst of it. We'll talk more about the windy conditions for your Friday in a moment. Let's walk you through the timeline of the rain. So by five, six o'clock, that rain turns a bit heavier. So I I think we see some more ponding on the roads for the evening rush hour drive. We'll go ahead and lift that north. And then as you take a look at 4 a.m., well, we have cloudy skies on tap. And then by 7, we start to see some more scattered showers redevelop. And then that becomes widespread late morning, midday, holding on to rain chances throughout a good chunk of the afternoon. But I've stopped the clock at 6, and that's where we are following that clearing line, pushing closer to Port Huron. So at that point, we should be drying out. And then we will have clearing skies tomorrow night, which will allow for some sunshine on your Saturday. So let's go ahead and break down your forecast as we get to the overnight my graphics all of a sudden just there we go. All right. They went to freeze for a second. I promise it's not freezing outside. 46 degrees tonight with maybe a speckly kind of light shower, but winds are picking up to 30 miles per hour and then 51 degrees for the afternoon high tomorrow. So we do dip below average and 40 mile per hour winds will be what we're looking at for the gusts, maybe 45. The rainfall forecast over the next day or so, because now we're well into that window, picking up about an inch or two of rain and then the wind gusts will peak a little bit later tonight around 11, 30 mile per hour gusts and then 40 mile per hour gusts as we head into your Friday. We're not done with the rain though. We'll get another chance for a few showers, especially the first half of Sunday, but we climbed it in the 70s and then a few more chances next week. But check out those temperatures either side of 70 next week. Like it. I got my eye on 77. Yeah. Oh yeah.